Hey everybody, Steve Jamrock with Realty Executives Premier. I hope that you are continuing to stay healthy and safe and uh, continue to make the best of the uh, crazy situation that we find ourselves in here. Um, with it, the beginning of the month upon us, I wanted to briefly touch base with you guys uh, uh, regarding mortgage payments and the mortgage forbearance programs uh, that are available. There's a lot of misinformation going on um, through social media about the mortgage forbearance programs. And I want to try to clear some of it up with you guys. Um, hopefully you're not going to be needing that program. Hopefully everything is good and you're, you're good to go until the economy kicks back into gear and we get past this. Uh, but should you find yourself needing a little bit of assistance here, uh, there are some steps that you need to take because uh, you are not automatically enrolled in anything. Uh, we are not having mortgage payments um, forgiven. Uh, this is a mortgage forbearance program that is available to certain qualified buyers. Uh, this means that the mortgage payment is just going to be delayed. Um, so for example, some lenders are adding that mortgage payment onto the end of the mortgage. Some lenders are just pushing payments back for a few months and then requiring all payments due and payable upon that time. So for example, if you had a $1,000 mortgage payment that is due but can't make it and you make arrangements to have that payment delayed, they may push it back for you for three months, but then upon that third month, all missed payments would become due and payable. So you'd have to come up with a lump sum payment at that time. So it's very, very important that you reach out to your loan servicer and um, one, to get qualified for this mortgage forbearance should you need it. And two, find out the details of the program. Um, Cause again, if, if you're having trouble uh, making the next month's mortgage payment now, um, you know, and then they require a lump sum later, that might not be in your best interest either. So um, if you do find yourself in the need, what to do? Uh, first thing to do is to reach out to your loan servicer. Um, you need to, this is who you're currently making your mortgage payment to. Uh, so find your, your most current statement, find a number on there and give them a call. Uh, your loan servicer may not be who you originated your mortgage with. So when you first bought your house, maybe you walked into ABC Mortgage, uh, you, you apply for your loan, got your loan approved there and closed with them. But uh, a couple months to a year later, they actually sold your mortgage off to another servicer. Uh, now XYZ Loan Servicing is handling your loan. So find your most recent mortgage statement, that's who you're making your uh, loan payment to, and give them a call. Uh, it's very, very important that if you find yourself in um, need to delay a payment or work out a payment plan or, or, or have any difficulty whatsoever making your mortgage payment, that the first step is contacting your loan servicer immediately. Um, if there's anything I can do for you, or if you have any further questions regarding this, I'd be happy to try to walk it through with you. 219-306-0333, uh, Steve Jamrock, Realty Executives Premier. Again, stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive. Um, I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best out there. We will get through this. Uh, in the meantime, if you need any help at all, please reach out. Thanks again, stay healthy. We'll talk to you soon.